Hey guys, Major Cade here, and I got some pressing intel for you. But before we begin, I do want to let you know that the Double Tap Show goes live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the description below. I also post new content to this channel every week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on to stay up to date when new intel goes live. Now with that out of the way, let's debrief. Welcome to the Gulag. A retreat? It's not an option. Whether you end up here because of a sniper on a rooftop or an RPG down a hallway, you're usually frustrated. And I get it. The kill can't prove you wrong and in fact the enemy was not using an aimbot. Now get over it. The outcome of the Gulag can change the whole direction of the war. Or it can send you back to the main lobby so you can wait for a few minutes and waste some more life. Whether you're playing solos, duos, trios, or quads, it doesn't matter. If it's you in here alone, or if the whole team is depending on you to clutch it, it doesn't matter. The Gulag, it's a war all on its own, and the traditional rules of engagement do not apply. In here, you will see three types of players. First up, the aggressive. He will push 80% from their spawn. Next, it's the tactical. They will push 40%, they'll try to go up against a wall to avoid a flank. Last, is the camper. I mean the player trying to tactically hold down a position. He won't move at all. You can find him in a spawn, waiting, holding down a lane. But there are two prongs with the Gulag, apart from the low hygiene and the lack of privacy. First is the size. Second, it's time. The average match lasts between 8 to 10 seconds. And even though that's still more than you any other night, in here, time is not on your side. Traditionally, 10 seconds is considered a lifetime in Call of Duty, but in here, that concept doesn't apply. With three possible types of enemies, there's no time for recon, and confrontation is guaranteed. And that is where the hand over fist gunfight technique comes in. It's simple, you're gonna take the ground by hand over fist, continuously pushing and checking key positions of where the enemy might be. The hand over fist gunfight technique is based off trial and error, with the purpose to remove the guesswork out of the equation. We are going to figure out what enemy we are up against by crossing them off the list one by one. First is the aggressive. Hit the middle lane and push 20% and check position one, the right side. The right side is position one because that is the side that the enemy spawns in, and it's most likely you find the aggressive player there. If not, he's on the alternative. Immediately move to position two. If he's MIA, then we're not dealing with an aggressive type. Next, the tactical. Now that you're in the left lane, push another 20%. Keep your eyes forward and try to cover the ground as fast as possible because you're going to be vulnerable for a quick second. From the left, check the right lane. If he's there, eliminate him. If not, then we know we're dealing with a camper. Keep pushing the left lane and he will either be standing right in front of you or somewhere in his spawn. He won't expect the aggression and you will usually catch his flank. Eliminate the timid roach and get back to the AO. And I know what you're thinking. There's three alternative maps to the Gulag, but don't worry, Major Kid gotcha. These case studies are gonna be a little bit different than from what we do here on the channel. They're gonna be nice, short, and sweet, and they're gonna be position based. We're gonna move through every single position one by one. Bear with me, cause they're gonna get a little repetitive. Perfect, let's move to position two. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this fucker out. Gave him a proper sword. Stand by for boots in the gun. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Gave him a proper sword. Stand by for redeploying. Boots in your gun. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this fucker out. Sort them out or capture the objective. 
Now let's move to position three. It's important for you to know that position three is the least likely out of all of them. Position one and two take about 40%. Position four takes another 40%. And when you do find somebody in position three, it's usually 20% of the time. Let's move on to position four. I bet by now you're probably saying, but Major Cade, these are the old weapons. What happened to the new update? Oh, come on, man. You know I got the new update, too. Welcome to the Double Tap Show. There is no reversal to this tactic. Playing is safe and not being aggressive is just going to lead you to lose to a stun grenade or a C4, or worse be forced to fight over that stupid flag. Instead, employ the hand over fist gunfight technique and take the guesswork out of the gulag because humans are creatures of habit. So force your enemies to be predictable because they are. Note that the trick to this tactic is speed. The faster you move, the better. The whole tactic relies on you beating the enemy by getting to the key positions first. It's a full sprint, not a marathon. Don't hesitate, be aggressive. Rely on your instincts, not on your mind, and your deployment will be imminent. 